welcome back to Predatory Fins. As you can see, we got another unboxing video coming up, and today is a special one because this is our first Columbia. Is it first Columbia? Bob, is it our first Columbia shipment in New York? He's lost for words. Yes. Too many boxes. But, no, today was a crazy day. We're actually almost got into a fight at the airport. It's the long, big story. I almost saw Kevin doing samurai stuff. I. I Somebody hit Lisa's car with, with their truck. It was a whole chaos. Matt was behind calling people peanuts and stuff just because he's like seven feet tall. <laughs> and, and, but gallery. you notice though, when I came over, I'm like, ah! Yeah, I'm not even that big anymore, bro. I'm like, I have a dad's bot. It's just. That was one of the guy's responses to you too. I pointed that out to Kasha. He was like, listen, man, you're a big guy. Yeah, yeah I'm I that. Like, what does that even have to do I with anything? I felt bad for him, bro. He was shaking. I felt bad. <laughs> no, it was even. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just a situation. It was a situation. We took, we handled it. We handled it like adults. Yes. Not like Bob Lloyd. No. I don't even know what is in here. We did an order. It's a lot of fish, 20 boxes or 15 boxes. I don't want to lie, 15, we cut down a little bit. But we have to get these fish acclimated. This is how crazy today is. We have to get this fish acclimated. Then we have about 40 to 50 boxes to ship out via UPS. Then we have to rent a truck. We're, we're calculating. We're gonna have to drive. We have to drive over to Ohio to pick up the race and then drive them back. We were trying to figure out which way would be better, ship them out, this and that. Just one plane ticket to go to Ohio right now it's five hundred dollars, around four, four to five hundred dollars. So for the three of us, plus shipping the race back, we're looking at least eight to nine thousand dollars. So you and I are gonna do this. I know yeah. you didn't know, sorry, but we're gonna. Um, he's gonna stay because we already got some stingrays here. You want to see some of the stingrays we already got? Yes, yes. And uh, all right, so let's put this down, and then we'll go. Hey Bob, hold that for me. Thanks. Oh, oh. nice catch, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. What's up, bro? What you got there? I'm playing with my stingrays. Yeah, well, you almost went samurai style with some people earlier today, so you yeah. want to show what we got? You want to show what we got? Yeah, sure. Okay. Maybe we should do a challenge. Like, let's all get stung and see who cries first. Would you do that for like a thousand bucks? Ten thousand. You wouldn't get stung for ten thousand bucks. No. How much money? It's pretty painful. Okay, but money is. I mean, too. if we're talking a little prick or like a sting. No, like go through your hand. Oh no, 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 no. I'll do it for twenty. I'll pay you twenty. Twenty thousand though, not twenty dollars. Go through dollars. your hand, dude. You After might, that, you might get like a ridiculous infection and then lose your hand. So is it worth twenty grand? Yo, I go back. To, I go to Brazil. I leave Lisa and Ryan. I live like a king for twenty grand, bro. Maybe for like a month. With inflation these days, yeah, you no, probably won't make it. it past two months. Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> talk about these. Right? So what's up with these? We got some black diamonds here. Um, it came in over the weekend. Just a small little shipment, just to uh, get my hands wet on this stuff again. Your hands. Are definitely wet. Yeah, it's definitely wet. Yeah, they're looking good. They're doing well. We left a couple of feeders in here and they're gone, so. They, they, ate, the they, they ate the feeders. So we got males and females. If you guys want to pair, there's three males and three females? Uh, or? Yeah, wait, this is the males, I think. These are the males? Oh, yeah, I see the wavels here. Okay. We got these little Matoro hybrids here. Um, they got various patterns. You see back the ones back there. Uh, less of spots, but more like intricate types of patterns. We and, already uh, sold two or three, I we think. We sold two, yeah. So it's pretty quick. But let's show the big ones that, that just came in today. Uh, this is like some of your higher end race? Um, yeah, yep, yep. These, these were raised, you know, from my nice place, uh, future grow outs. And uh, they've grown quite a bit. I haven't seen them in like almost six months. So uh, they're almost mature. If you guys remember the albino black diamond, now the claspers are fully rolled. And uh, it Bro, looks look about like, what, 14 thing, inches now? I don't know, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Nice. You I almost can't see it through the camera because the, the bottom is white. You yeah. almost can see it. And that's Thanks, his God. companion. She's an albino uh, het, so she's a carrier of the gene. So when these two mate, we'll definitely get the albino BD babies. And what's that crazy one right and there? And that's one of my uh, creations. It's a, a super hybrid. It, it's like three to four generations of breeding to, to, come with to, that. Create, to create that. So um, this is a project that's probably a good 10 years in the making. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful though. Yeah. So, ooh, ooh. Ooh, hopefully they're about to go. They're probably hungry. So, uh, oh, we well, you, you brought some food over here for them. Uh, okay. Really? Yeah. All right, cool. So let's get to the unboxing, right? Is that what we're... Yeah. You want to mess with Ray's or you want to mess with us? We'll do that first because they're in the boxes for a while now. 
Let's go. So when are we gonna start like traveling? Like, cause I, I bro, I need to travel, dude. I, I look at Bob every day. I can't take it anymore. Oh uh, wow. Well, I mean, traveling is something I definitely no to take. Hold on. Let me use my nail. So you still need to cut it. Kevin's trick. I don't have nails. The good thing of this is uh, it helps keep the temperature. You know, the box not opening. Yeah. yeah let's see Dude, if I, I was like, uh, if I was a fish all life inspector, I would hate this, bro. I would probably break every box. They do. They they they, they practically destroy the. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No, see this. All right, we'll do right back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Heat pad. It's like a thousand maybe, degrees. Maybe it's cold over there. Well, let's hope for the best. Looks like they're wrapping Christmas yeah. presents here. I know. Look. Gifts. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, they see Penny in here. <laughs> they see Penny. Not Macy's. All right. It's the same thing. I think it's the same, yeah. So I know they, they stuffed these angels in to fill up the spaces. All right. We have to take care of that sound. Sorry, Bob. But sometimes Rod can be very abusive. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's going to get you one day. I'm sure he will. All right. Well, here so we are. got two Ultima angels here. Pretty good size. And, uh, these have been like taken from the wild and quarantined at the exporters facility. I think he said for about like three months now. Um, so they should be very stable because usually Altums are very delicate when they first come out of the wild. These are the ones that get really, really big, really right. tall fins. And I want to say something because I hate dealing with the whole wild, pulling stuff out of the wild. I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. They're going to eat these animals. It doesn't matter if we buy or if we don't buy. They caught, they got caught, okay? These people live off selling animals, eating animals, so it doesn't matter. They're already caught. Buying them, I, I honest opinion, I feel like we're actually giving them a second chance because either they'll go and be exported out to another country or they're gonna get eaten, whoever catches them. Um, if it was a problem for Colombia or South America, Certain fish, they put a ban on it so they can reproduce. They actually need, right? They, they, monitor, they monitor the quantities and make sure that what they're taking, it's sustainable, that's the word, sustainable quantities so that they don't deplete the wild, you know? Right. So they're, they're always monitoring because this is their natural resource. It's just like oil for us. They're not gonna like pump it all out. They have to regulate, you know, what they pull. So same thing with the animals. I just, when I first opened a business, though, I was always like, man, I don't like taking stuff from the wild. But then I started really thinking about it's not like we're there catching them, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're already caught. So but This whether... is their way of living. This is what they need to do to survive. Yeah. So it, it, it also supports their economy as well. So what is this? Holy Whoa. crap. That's a lot of sand. We oh, got the Sabrina? Dude, we got sand from the Amazon. We can sell this on eBay. Yeah, that's a huge Sabrina. Wow. That's big. Beautiful colors. I know. Do you like the red or you like the gold? I like the gold. It looks like a green tiger. That's why I like it. Uh-huh. So but then I'm guessing all this. Excuse me, bro. <laughs> so they should be all the same. Yep. Look at that. Whoa, that's a Yo, look at the size of that thing. Holy crap. Holy When damn. they said big, I didn't expect this big. This must be like full adult size, I think. Because normally they come a, a little bit smaller, right? This one almost looks like Kasha. Are you a pike? We're on the spot. She hates being on camera. You're gonna have to get used to it, Kosh. He's gonna do it every time. We know. It's every okay. time. <laughs> All right. So this is probably more Sabrinas. I can't pick on Bob every second, so I have to split around. <laughs> Yo, watch out. He's gonna team up with Bob and get you. What? Oh. Okay. So can you explain what what the sand is for? I can only guess that they put the sand. Well, they, it could be just when they were scooping it and they just grabbed sand. <laughs> That's the most logical reason, you know? If they were really, really smart and really thinking it through. Dude, these things are huge, The bro. sand could be in there for biological. Because you know how they can produce waste in the bag, uh -huh. right? And the bacteria is on the media. So that sand will have the, the, bio, the, the bacteria on there. I mean, I thought about before. So it keeps the ammonia down. We're shipping with the floatable media with bacteria mm -hmm. on yeah. it. But what if the bacteria dies? It then it crosses die. more ammonia. It won't die because we have oxygen in here too. So they consume the oxygen. The only thing is if the bio load is too big, the bacteria could be consuming all the oxygen in the bag or competing with the fish for the oxygen as well. So you're saying if there's too much sand or the bacteria living in it could Or too take much waste. If they're producing too much waste, then the bacteria is eating the waste. 
and consuming the oxygen at the same time. So, but still, there's a balance, and I think it's still better than not having, because ammonia can kill the fish also. So, if we have a nice balance, it, it could work. Yeah. You know, like dropping a couple of the K3 media in every bag, like one piece, it would be good. That's what I just said. Yeah. So, let's start doing it. Why haven't we done it yet? K3's expensive. <laughs> but for really, work? just one piece would do a difference like that? Yeah, one or two pieces. Wow. Floating in the water? This is only one fish, and he's not, you know, we don't feed him. Uh, we can start putting it like this. I mean, on bigger animals like this that has a high potential of polluting the water, it's probably worth it. But for a little fish, I mean, you see, this water's still pretty good. Yeah. Compared to, like, the big fish. Because sometimes the bigger fish, their intestines hold more waste. So yep. even though you purge it. As you can it, see. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of intestines <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because we don't have our acclimation station done, we're actually going to rebuild this and make it, you know, advanced, more advanced. New and uh, improved. We're going to have to do a caveman style. So right now we're going to open his bags, and then we're going to get their water. Is that caveman style too? Pretty much. But it takes a lot of time, so as you guys are doing this, I want to start jumping back and forth on boxes. Because otherwise, this is going to be like a two hour long video. And we don't have two hours. Oh! <laughs> don't mess with me today, bro. Don't mess with me today. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me smell that. Hold on. Take it with that. Got a little kick to it, for sure. Oh, that guy's cool. <laughs> that guy's cool. Yeah, stinks. Yeah. yeah. They smelt it through the camera. You know how like the movie theaters, they spray you with water or whatever? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at, oh, that was... We'll spray some fish water at people. That's like spraying a fart in your face. <laughs> what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pour some water in there, mix some of the water out, so it dilutes the ammonia. And then we're acclimating the temperature, you know, everything. This is a healthy fish, so they'll be okay. The temperature of the bag is not cold. This water is not cold, so. We we'll do that, and because we have our nice robot over here, Kevin likes to take the bag, give a nice shake. No, I'm just kidding, you don't shake. You just, or well, you're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Yeah, let it sit for a little bit. Okay, so here, yeah, you do that. I'm gonna um, start opening some boxes, and then once they take them out, we'll come back and look at them. Okay. All right. Oh, dude, dude, angelfish, bro. You wanna go to hell? <laughs> All right. Dude, we're gonna have a long drive, brother. You're me, you're me. All right, so let's see what we got on box number two. So you gotta, you gotta enjoy, you know. If you're serious all the time, uh -huh. life sucks. Whoa. Uh oh, someone needs help. Someone needs help. You know I'm a plaque with savior, so. Oh yeah. But these look like they're like mini snowball or two zero one snowball pleco. Look how many, see that's what kills. Look how many, how much, how much space for not enough, a lot of plecos, you know? Kevin's gonna freak out. <laughs> but they're all looking good. Just that one looks like it needs a little help. Yeah. I wanna actually, I wanna see his reaction. So the water on. to fish to oxygen in the bag ratio. Dude, the amount of work that goes into like, you know, everybody that has a fish store named Port, that's why it's so nice to get it from a wholesaler sometimes because all this process is already done. You're just picking the fish and being done with it. This is the pain and, and you know, <laughs> and then you have to like acclimate the fish and then mouth to mouth if you're doing bad. Yeah. All that good stuff. Can't pretend you got no hands like Bob. So nope. You have to, to help him out. Yo, check this out, bro. What is the problem? No problem. Oh, well, this one's dead. Oh, yeah, what, one. What? Oh, I thought you were going to complain there's not enough fish in the bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how you know he's tired. I'm tired. The first thing he would do would be like, Oh, what's the bag so big for little fish? Okay. Yeah. I made a mistake of opening this. Yes. These are the clown? I think so. The colors don't look still nice, pink. yeah. But it could be that stuff. I don't know what... I, I really don't know what that stuff is. It could be ceramic. Here, sorry, take this eye opener. My bad. Yeah. My B, dog. <laughs> oh, 
okay, okay, okay. So this, I know it's hard to see because the bag is brown for some reason. This is a, a large panda URU. These are really, really pretty. They're amazing fish. I think they look great in a community tank, but it looks like it needs a little bit of help. So we're gonna go ahead, and take these two. Whoa, 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 that's not, what the hell is that? Dude, that's hold on, bro. There's a shark in there. I know, it looks like one. I know I wanna it, see it, what's in yeah, there? Yeah, he's just mad. And then a little guy. <laughs> yeah, he's in. He's alive, okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn it. Bob, we need help. Oh. Watch out. Dude, this is... This is a wolf fish. Whoa. Oh, shoot. This, okay, so let me explain something to you guys. I don't, I don't think this is the Aymara, but the Aymara, if it was you, that thing would be jumping out of the bag to bite my finger. I'm telling you, bro, wolf fish is even worse than tiger fish. Tiger fish, they're very finicky. Even as a big size, they're scared of you. These guys right here, no, they'll bite you on purpose just to have fun. Nah, you they're like, oh, look, look at that feet. <laughs> Boom. Just, that. just for fun, bro. Look at those toes. They boy. do nothing else in the Amazon but bite your feet for no reason. Because <laughs> they can't eat you, so. Bro, look at this one. I got to figure out what this is. It looked like, it looked like a shark on this brown bag, but it's a wolf fish. So this wolf fish right here, I'm not sure what the species are. We have to double check. Let's do our quick acclimation. Sorry. Very professional All here. Good. Dude, a million dollar facility. I'm a two million dollar facility and we're playing with yeah. caveman style. Hey, 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 we have an automatic pump. We gotta name that little robot, bro. We do need a name for him. He's good. Hopefully we won't jump out. Look at this thing. Yeah, splash, little guy, splash. He's, he looks pretty dark, huh? You think he might be an Aymara? Yeah, they kind of do. They have him on the Man, I can't get rid of the smell. I don't know where to put it. So don't cut these open because I gotta find baskets. We had to, to see what it was. They're trying to look. It looked like a shark, so we need to figure it out. It was trying to come out of the bag, honestly. It was yeah, a look, you been in a hole through the bag. Yeah, that wasn't us. Nope. Oh. Bro, professional. Bro. Yeah, you almost, wha you almost whacked him in the head. Professional, this side. <laughs> How much if I can hit Kevin right on the head? Right in between the forehead. <laughs> A good chance. What is that game called? Uh, the beanbag thingy with the hey. cornhole. Is it cornhole? Can you just stand right there for a second? Don't move. Don't move. Just close your eyes. My turn. Uh uh oh. Close your eyes. My turn. We're gonna have to slow mo. Oh, you move! I hit you. We gotta save fish, bro. <laughs> that last one was straight for the. <laughs> hey, babe, we're working. Yes. He's been hitting me every single time. Oh. <laughs> That, that was that was good. Yo, I tried that uh, the tortilla slap with Lisa yesterday. We gotta do it here, dude. Just the five of us, and just go to see who's gonna lose. <laughs> Flag deals. It's actually pretty healthy. About five inches. <laughs> pretty average, they'd say. Yeah. Uh, Yoru, Panda Yoru, looking good. Okay, sorry you guys can't see that yet. Can't see that either. 
Panda URU? That one we kind of saw. Did you open any Panda URU yet? Because they're trying to see it. You're trying to see it. All right, don't worry. I need to change water. You know, Bob, I wish you would help more instead of just standing there. <laughs> Useless. Oh, see, this is another one. The, the, the bag is a little clear. This is really, really pretty. They actually look like a panda. Yeah. A panda fish. There's the spots on them. So this whole bag is going to be panda urus. I think we'll just take the bag there and let them do some work. And we'll jump to another box. Yes. Oh, that? Oh. oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Too many years. That was the first smooth box. All right, uru, where is he? Okay. Check it out, guys. Come down, man. Come down. Look at this beauty. Dude, he's big. Look at Whoa. that. You got like a mohawk. Yeah. Oop. Really, really pretty fish. Sorry, I don't like to keep fish out of the water. It's okay. It's too it's long. okay. Right, I gotta put this in. This thing's in my way. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah, I'm so like goofy. Look at him, bro. He's so sad. He um, won't have enough water. Oi, we need oil over here. Yeah. Can you imagine when. Gabby! Yo, when Oi yells at you, what does she say? Does she call you by the name? Yeah, she just calls me Kevin. Oh, Can't there's wait. probably a different tone to it. Yeah. <laughs> that you know. Can't wait. Can't, Kevin can't be the only one not in trouble around here. What? Can they jump? Oh, the wolfish? Yeah. Yeah. Watch your toes. Oh, yeah, babe. Yo, where are we gonna put the silver iguanas? Look at these. These oh, almost look blue. What they got on the end? It's See? like almost like a blue tint to it, yeah? Whoa. But these are silver. Bro, I'm the, so weak. The oh. other ones weren't like that, though, no? What? The other silver iguanas. I mean, it's, it's, it's the breeders, you know, like quality and stuff like that. Like, these guys are healthy. Like, look at that. The tip of their tail it's like red. looks like the bananas, almost. Or, well, it's a little... Could yeah. be red, well, that's, could be yellow. That's this, but albino. So, hmm. So, Science. that's pretty cool. Now, the ultimate. Okay. These guys look so pretty, though, when they get big. They're, these dudes would literally be the size of this whole bag. Wow. Very angelic, you know? More silvers, okay. Silvers, okay. No problem separating There's like how many? Six of them, right? Something Why am I gonna have a problem? <laughs> Why are you so scared? Look, look, look. I already had it all prepped up, bro. Look. I made these. Last night with right a bare hand. Yeah. Go. Snowboarding video this went there. I mean, how about a snowboarding trying video? <laughs> I probably won't even We can go tubing, we can do tubing, that would be I'll, fun. I'll do it all, dude. There's certain things Whoa. I won't do. I can't see what it is, so let's nope. pull them out here. Uh, what the, oh, oh, you know what? This is nice. This is a uh, vampire pleco. But look at the size. It's like bigger than my hand. Yeah, you can see a shadow in there. Yep, really, really cool. So these are all going to be that. Yo, check out the size of these abrinas, dude. How, how long is this container? About 12? I think it's longer than 12. They literally go from one side to the other. Beautiful fish. Look at that tail. I know their colors come out really well once they acclimate to the tank. But that's a very, very, that's for, for me, this and the Rosemary are the two prettier, prettiest pikes in the world. Oh, oh man, I'm bigger. I didn't want the sand. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. We're running out of time, brother. We're running out of time. <laughs> Why is there so much water out here? What the heck? Uh, I think these are Lupanakis. They're really, really cool black gold. They actually have like a blue sheen to it. Nice, good size on them. Lupanakis, and then this, I think, is more of those albums. Mystery. We got a mystery bag yeah, going secret. on here. So we have two Altons. I think what they did is they split the Altons between all the boxes to make it fit. 
we got two of them. Gotta make sure they don't flip off. Flip off. And then this. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is a different species of wolf fish. Kevin's gonna love this. I gotta figure out which one. Look at that face, bro. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it look like an angry grandma? Yeah, he's got little teeth. I'm pretty sure I just saw some little teeth. <laughs> angry Love it. grandma. Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna beat that one day. I'll be an angry grandpa. All right, let's jump to another box. So I think these are the green phantoms. We asked for the high, we asked for the high fan ones, right? I think I did. Kevin doesn't recall much. Yeah, it looks like a high fan ones. Look at this, super cool. Oh yeah. These guys are actually green. Some of them even have like a yellow tone to it. So that's what these are. So far, very good packing. Very happy with it. What do you think, man? You just seen a couple of them already. Yeah, no, no, good, good. right? Definitely good. The boxes and everything. Don't tell yeah. nobody. <laughs> At least it's not my wife. She would shoot that back. <laughs> she would shoot something back. <laughs> oh yeah, look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey buddy. What you got? What you got? What? You know what plethor that is? This is a vampire, son. You ever wonder why they call oh. it a vampire? Because it sucks on necks. <laughs> I just tried to lift it by hand out of the video. With the teeth in there is insane. I know, they, they, they do bite. You didn't know they bite? But it had like like sharp, sharp teeth. It was nuts. I use this to flip it over. Hold on, bro. Let me show you how okay, bro does. Why are you flicking things on me? <laughs> Matt, you got to watch your girl, bro. <laughs> he just shot Bob. Oh, oh yeah. He caught me. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very really sharp. sharp. <laughs> <laughs> very sharp. Sorry, right, buddy. You're so beautiful. now we know why they call them vampires, huh? <laughs> bro, look how pretty this one is. Look at the fins, the, the tail. It's like a fork. How oh, it opens up, yeah. I wish we would set up a tank of these. Oh, Maybe oh, the, the tall fish? square one would just do a whole angel fish. And the other one would do this. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Time, bro. Time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, just what we have right here, we're already tripping breakers. It's another vampire. Dude, the vampires came in big, dude. I want to. Whoa, look Whoa. at that. Look at that face. Whoa. Looks like Kasha. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You better start running. Still <laughs> <laughs> looking for like them. <laughs> Man, what what are you find girls like that, bro? <laughs> Lisa's always happy. <laughs> yeah, right. She wants to kill me for most of the day. I try. The only thing that, that was able to help me live until now is because of Ryan. If it wasn't for Ryan, I'd be like Bob right now. What you got for yeah. <clears throat> Oh, whoa. Bro, I need to go back to the gym. This is the gym. No, You've been dude. picking up heavy, heavy. Dead deep. life. <laughs> I need, I need to. Life sucks, bro. Let's just go back to the fish. <laughs> I want to be a fish. Dude, I used to go to the gym every day of my life for the last 10 years until Ryan came into this world. But I wouldn't change him for anything though. Oh, what is that? Dude, that's a huge, that's a huge, uh, 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 uh Green Phantom. No. Yeah, look. Whoa. Yo, Kev. Oh. What look are these that? guys, bro? I'm just gonna pull it out. No, no. Yeah, that, that, doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. Look at the size. Oh, nice. Oh, these are the big L200s. Yeah, they look said the it was fin. like eight inches. Nice. Beautiful fish. Whoa. What? So you got a whole box of those right there? Yeah. All right, cool. You want them? Just put it back in the box. It's, it's turning into a madhouse. Always a madhouse. Oh, look, we showed up. Oh, welcome to the party, bud. You ready to move some fish? Okay, you wanna help out? Sure. As he okay. just walks off there, he's like, uh-uh. He's like, I'm just gonna keep playing dumb. <laughs> At least he's not walking to the wall anymore. Nah, he's good. What's up, dude? I think, honestly, I really do think that when he's fully healed, that's when his tail is going to get up again. He's going to start moving his tail. Because right now, he's just straight down. He's yeah. not even like... That's the only thing. His tail's been down. Yeah. But at least he's alive, so that's what counts. Yeah. There's... Hello, buddy. Hey. The silver arrows. Okay. So this... Actually, this was a very good shipment so far. Not one dead fish. Even that little... 
uh, Pleco, we were able to do mouth to mouth and bring it back to life. The only thing down right now is Bob. We're gonna leave him down because it's not really helping. And there are one is that do one okay, so we're gonna jump into another box for Q. Look, I missed the bag here. What the hell? More vampires. So we got some really big. Yeah. You like big ones, right? We get small ones too. We're, good if we we're supposed to get a mix of the big and the small ones. We probably got some one. Which one you prefer, big ones or small ones? I think I like small ones. No. <laughs> See the nights when this dog was 150 pounds and I had I right. think my favorite right. part is what? that when he pees now, though, he at least stands. He'll pee wherever, but he at least gets up and he's like, yo, I ain't trying to pee all over myself. So I'll take that. Yeah, but he doesn't do that with poop yet, so. Nah. <laughs> and like in one of the earlier videos when I grabbed underneath uh -huh. to move him, it was just a Cover? handful of pee, but it's okay because it's, it's the animals we love. You freak. No, no. <laughs> Try to make me look bad during a good moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said, oh, he's covered in pee, but it's okay, though. <laughs> you know why I'm actually happy and joking around today? Because all the fish are happy and alive. You yeah. know, that's what, that's oh. what counts. I just jinx myself. <laughs> Yo, look at that tail. Uh. Okay, I can tell you by the tail. It's a brycon. Yo, we got some uh, five, six inch brycons here. The whole box. Yeah. Oh wait, that was those little dudes. Yeah. Oh. They're like a same family as the Dorados. They were supposed to be like small. Like no, I told you that video they look big. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap, this needs help me. These are the red tail bear. I don't even know my fish here. Bring me some more, bring me some more. Look. Wow, the bag's so small. What yeah, I know. I can't believe this thing's still alive. Oh my God. All right, bring the rest of them then. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to save all these fish. All right. Our bags are very little to the size of fish. So we're gonna get started and we'll be right back. All right, so we have a few boxes left. These are, oh, these are actually pretty good size. These are Brycon, about, let's say four inches. So I'm guessing this whole box is gonna be Brycons. Yep, we got a decent amount of them. These right here are, oh, the so look at the size of these silver arrows. They came in looking great. Arrows, arrows. You got the Brycon. Yes, Brycon. Yeah, Check this out. Look at these guys. Look at the size of these gophers. They're not huge, but they're a perfect size to ship. Look at this. Look at this blob. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's got a little smile on his face. <laughs> so what we're going to do, as you can see, we're going nuts right now because we still have to pack like 50 boxes. We're going to put these fish away. We're going to start the packing. After we're all done, I'm gonna show you guys all the fish in the tank. But you wanna show them? No, you can show them. You should do, I'm, I'm you working should. hard and no, you're, you're, you're having fun with everybody. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll take care of it. We'll be right back.